guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Oh, welcome back to my channel. I'm here for another one of my favourite projects revisited. And one of my favourite projects that I did um, in 2020 was definitely um, the tracing paper envelopes. I absolutely love how these feel. I just really, really, really love them. Um, so I thought that I would come along and um, revisit the subject because, of course, you know, there's always people who maybe didn't see the video first time round or maybe, you know, you've forgotten about it or whatever. So all you're going to need if you want to do some of these is some, I did, or I used sheet music. You don't have to use sheet music. You could just use coffee dyed paper. You could use um, book pages, you know, up to you completely. I'm going to in the main use um, sheet music. I may do some um, book pages as well, but on the whole, they're going to, I think, be sheet music. And then what else you're going to need is some printed tracing paper. Now, again, if you saw my original, um, you know, video, I actually did kind of, I think there were about three different videos on the same um, topic, but doing slightly different versions. So if you don't have a printer or anything, then what you could do is take some tracing paper and you could actually stamp on it because I also did a video using stamped images and that looked, you know, just as good and worked just as well. So you don't have to use printables. I'm going to use those because obviously that's, you know, what I've got kind of on hand, but you don't have to. Um, so all you're going to do, oh, and of course you will need a sewing machine. Um, I haven't tried gluing these, I have to say. I have used the sewing machine for everything. I haven't glued anywhere. So if you don't have a sewing machine, it's definitely worth a try to see if they would glue. Um, how visible your glue is going to be around the tracing paper, I don't know. It will depend perhaps on your tracing paper. It will depend on your glue that you use. Um, but if you've got a sewing machine, then you know that's going to work a treat. So all I'm going to do is take my printed tracing paper and then just lay it over my sheet music. And then all I'm going to do, as you can see, I mean, that sheet music is way bigger than the A4, you know, sheet of tracing paper, but I'm going to leave it like that and I'll do my trimming up afterwards. So what I'm going to do is take it to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch around on the four sides like that and then I will trim them down. So I'm going to go and do that now. I won't kind of, you know, bore everyone by going, taking you over to the sewing machine to, you know, to do the stitching. Um, but I did do these another time through the year and um, I found that the first bunch that I did, I think I had a problem with a kind of bit of a creased effect going on in one of the corners. And unfortunately I can't remember now what I did to actually overcome that, but it may have been that I sewed kind of three edges first and then did the last. I'm not too sure, you know, kind of like took the needle out again and then restarted by stitching the final, you know, the final strip. I can't honestly remember. If I if it comes to me whilst I'm doing them, I will of course share that tip with you. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to do some on some book page. Um, probably some of this smaller book page. And what I've got here is some printables which would lend themselves there to being cut in half and just using then a portion of it. So yeah, that's I think how I'm going to do that. So I will be back once I've stitched some of these on the sewing machine. Okay, I'm back from the sewing machine and I have remembered now what I did to overcome the kind of, you know, creased up bit um, as it were. So I'm going to just quickly show you what happens if you try and stitch around or what, certainly what happened to me. I'm not saying it would happen to everyone, it might just be me. If you try and stitch around your tracing paper just completely, you know, in one go onto your sheet music, if you're not careful, you just get this kind of effect going on. Hopefully you can see that just in the corner, got this titchy crease. Now it doesn't really worry me because to be honest, by the time that you fold this up and make your envelope, you can easily cover that up with some lace or, you know, anything else. So it doesn't really kind of matter. It's not a really big deal. You have got this kind of, can you hear that? And can you see, you know, like a bubble almost kind of moving. So, you know, that's what, you know, what potentially can happen, I guess. Um, like I say, it may, it may be just me, but you know, just be, be wary of that. But how to get around it, I remembered as soon as I went to stitch the first one actually, is what I did 
was I stitched across just this top line. So just the top line of what's going to be the foldy flap. And then I took the remainder and folded it up. Let me just go and get a piece and show you. Right, I decided it would be much easier to just show you actually than trying to describe it. So again, I'm going to take a piece of the sheet music. So I've got this page here. And then all I'm going to do is put my tracing paper over the top like that. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is stitch along this top section, which is going to be my flap. So I just bring my sewing machine forward. So, and I do apologize, my sewing machine is pretty tight on here. So, you know, if the vision's not perfect, I, you know, really can't kind of do anything about that, I'm afraid, because, uh, you know, the table's only quite tiny and that's all I have room for in this space. So I'm just going to go across there. Whoops. Let me just move it away from the wall, otherwise it's hitting the wall, like that. And then all you're going to do, so I just take it back out from the sewing machine. Okay, so that's going to be your fold up flap. So you're then going to just take your piece and fold it like that for the sort of envelope section, if you see what I mean. Now, if like me, you've got, you know, you didn't put it right up to the top, this is your opportunity to just cut it down. If you don't do it now, you're going to have stitched your envelope together and you know you won't be able to get to it to cut it down. So you may want to cut it down now. That's that, and then you're going to just fold it up and this is the bottom of your envelope, if you see what I mean. So this is you know your pouch of your envelope. So just take it up to where you want it to be, fold it in half, and then what you're going to do is stitch around the pouch section so i'll just quickly show you that so you're going to just and i like to just back stitch here just so it's kind of nicely um you know definitely stitched and joined because of course you know if you're putting things in and out of your envelope you don't want it coming apart and then it's up to you you probably don't really even have to stitch across the bottom you could just leave the bottom i'm stitching across the bottom just you know just because just because I'm lazy really it's kind of quicker to stitch across the bottom than take the thread out and redo the the next piece and then you're going to just obviously stitch up the other side again I'm just going to back stitch onto there like that take that out and then what you're going to do if I just move that slightly so this is the back of your envelope this is the front with your pouch so what you're going to do is turn it over just so that you get your stitch in the right way, you know, the right way round for your flap. You're going to go in next to here and stitch along. So just kind of try and join the stitches up a little bit. Stitch across or along and then stitch across the, you know, the flap edge. Like that. Just need to move my table slightly more. Okay, and then you're going to just, whoops, I've come too far, too far over. So I just then want to come down and again, just join my stitches up, you know, approximately together. So I'll just then take that out of the machine. And then you don't have that kind of bubble type thing going on. Like I say, I mean, once your envelope's all folded up and everything, it's not that much of a big deal anyway. But this is definitely, you know, a better method to do it. And then, of course, your, you know, your flap just then folds over and you can trim your envelope down, you know, as need be. So I'm going to go back to my desk and we will decorate one up. OK, so we might as well use this one because this is the one that obviously we've just that second done. So I'm just going to kind of bring my flap down to where I want it to be. Let me just use my bone folder. Not really, you know, you don't have to use a bone folder. You can just fold it, but I'm just going to kind of do that. And then I'm just going to trim around it. Now I've kind of stitched in a little bit. So I'm just going to stitch it, or not stitch it, trim it down like that on either side. 
Oops, like that. Okay, and then I just want to go across obviously where my flap is to just tidy that up as well. I mean, probably you're better off cutting the flap first before folding it over. But again, sometimes when you're doing a video, you don't really think of the <laughs> most logical ways of doing things. Okay, so I'm just going to bin those bits. And that's your envelope. And then you can obviously decorate it up. I mean, I absolutely love these and they're in my favourite projects because I just love how they feel. They've got this gorgeous, squishy slightly kind of like noisy type feel to them and you know um effect effect to them so i absolutely love them so let's decorate this up so i'm just going to take my vintage photo and just ink it up so i'm just going to ink up here first and then i will just ink up the inside a little bit like that Okie dokie, and then across here, like that. And then we'll just ink the rest up. Yeah, I just really, really love these. They, they're probably one of my favourite things um, that maybe I've ever made, like with regards to, you know, the feel of them and things. I just really, really like them. I'm a bit of a sort of um, sucker for something that feels nice, so... Um, yeah, I really like, you know, the soft cover journals and things because I love the way they feel, you know, squishy but fat and, you know, yeah, just <laughs> don't know why. But that's just my thing, I think. So, um, yeah, really like them. So that's kind of how that looks. And then we'll just decorate it up. So I don't know quite, I haven't decided how I'm going to decorate this yet. But, I mean, of course it's going to involve lace. So that's just... Oops, my lace is knotted, hold on. Oh, I mean, just just that looks so pretty without even anything else, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to have that. I've got this gorgeous pink lace, or peach, sorry, peach lace here beside me, which how pretty is that? So I wouldn't mind having some of that on there, I think. So I'm just going to put that there. Now, what do we want to have on here? I've got some of my butterfly film strips. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? I wonder if we could have that. Maybe have it on some lace or something. Oh, that's quite nice. Right, let me just trim this down. I don't think, unfortunately, this is that kind of terrible lace, you know, where we're going to get all those frayed edges. So, um, yeah, that's a shame. But, you know, it's fine. I'm just go down there yeah that's really really nice isn't it so I'm just going to ink this up this has just been printed on some scraps but you know I'm not too worried because uh, it's just going to look really really pretty on the on the envelope so Now, do we want anything else like sort of doily or anything like that? Let's just have a look. Just got some doily kind of sat around here on my desk, which I thought, oh, that might just be the right colour. Mm, what do you think? I actually just love it with the, um, you know, just showing the tracing paper. It just looks so pretty. look and see if we could incorporate a flower or anything so I've got this flower this was um off of I think it was a pair of my daughter's shoes actually so although that looks really big it's very flat so it wouldn't really bulk out a journal if I were to use that on there um you know and I've inked it up and things in the past already so I might just have that on there to be honest let me just have a look no, I'm not sure it goes brilliantly with that to be honest but um yeah, I quite like how that's all looking. So let's just glue this down onto the tracing paper. 
Oops, I can't see now whether that's actually coming out or not. Hold on. Oops. Okay. I can see now it definitely is coming out now. So a bit of that on there. And then we can just glue this down onto the lace. Okay, squish that down. Like that. I'm oh, just wondering. Oh. Right, I'm going to have that lace across there. Oh, come on. I don't know why my Fabri-Tac has decided to start misbehaving. It's, um, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why it started doing this, but it's very annoying. Let's just clear the nozzle just in case. Just in case, right. Don't need to do that on my hand trick or anything because this lace obviously it's you know it's filled in enough to to not need to do that. Okay. Just trim that down there. Yeah, I really like that flower, I think, there. I mean I know it is massive, but um it looks quite pretty as like a lovely focal point, so I'm going to put that there. And then just need to decide what to use. Sorry, something's just dropped off of my desk. Just need to decide what to use as the kind of center for that. So let's just have a look in my buttons. See if I've got a sort of flattish button, really. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, that monstrous button on there. That's a bit, bit boring, isn't it? Just brown brown button. Uh, let's just have a bit more of a look. My buttons are really, really full because I recently did the Tidy Friday where um, I obviously came across a bunch of buttons, so it's really full. I mean, that's not too bad, to be honest. Perhaps I will use that one. And just press that down and that goes then nice and flat like that okay Oops. oh I must have had some hot glue seeping out there I didn't realize it was as low down as that just pick that off okay okay that's okay right and then I don't know whether I want to have anything on the back or not. To be honest, it looks just gorgeous, you know, how it is. I don't really think it kind of even needs anything, but let's just have a look. I mean, I guess we could have that there, couldn't we? Whoops. Well, hey, more is more after all, isn't it? So let's just put it there. Let's go for it. Okay. Okay, doke. Come on, glue. Come on. Mucking about. Oops, had some glue kind of seeping out on the end. Oh, come on. What is going on today? What is going on? Oh, come on. Oh, so sorry, guys. I had not been really having glue problems since the um, Sugar Bell bottles, and now, now it's my Fabri-Tac that's misbehaving. So, yeah, that's very annoying. Okay. Oops, I just have to move the flap up otherwise it was very lumpy to actually press this down and stick it on obviously there we go 
Okay, and then just have that bit of lace just there, just to the corner. So I will just do that, you know, glue on my hand trick for this one because it's a little bit on the holy side. Well, I say that. I mean, if it ever, if it ever runs down the bottle, so yeah, I must remember to fill my fabric tack up after the video. Let's hope that I remember. Oh my goodness! Come on. Oh dear, this is annoying. Right, let's just put a bit on there. Just hold it in place, and then I'm going to just use my hot glue to glue down the rest because. That will just be nice and quick and easy. So, and hopefully that will come out. Won't cause me problems. Okay. So, yeah, that's that one. And do we want anything else on there? I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't really look like it kind of needs anything else, to be honest. It looks very pretty as it is. So just, come on, come on, come on. So sorry about these uh, these glue issues. Come on. There we go. There we go. Right. So that's that. Now, did we want any bling on there at all? Or do we want it a bling-free zone? Let's just have a look. <clears throat> I mean, it looks pretty with bling or without it, to be honest. You know, it probably doesn't really need it, but equally... It does look, you know, pretty with it too, so. Oh, I'm just going to put it on there because, you know, <laughs> well, because, <laughs> because why wouldn't you? Right. Come on, glue. Don't let me down now. Come on, we're nearly through the video. We don't need to be mucking about now. Right, let's just try and hot glue that on instead. Okay, there we go. And then do we want a little bit over the other side? Again, you know, don't really know as we need it, but let's just check. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Oops. There we go. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? So that's that one. And then I will just show you, because I did make, um, you know, a couple in smaller size as well, like with the book page instead of the sheet music. So I'm just going to quickly pull those in. Okay. So I also did these ones on the smaller size. So if I just, oops, sorry, show you, for instance, this one, I will just trim this down. So I'll just put that one out of the way. So I will just trim this down. And this time I will trim down that flap before I fold it. That will be slightly easier. I'll just trim down the side. Okay. And then fold the flap over. And then, you know, if you need to re-trim it, then obviously you can do that now. Oops, where did I put my bone folder? Was I good? Yep, I was good and put it back where it belongs. <clears throat> okay, so I don't need to trim that down on the sides. It's, it's folded over pretty neatly. So again, just going to kind of ink that up. I mean, it doesn't really need a lot of inking on the other side because of course it is, you know, brown tones anyway, but I will just go around a little bit. Like that. And then just a bit on this side as well. Like that, okay. And then again, let's just decorate this up quickly. So put my bone folder away. So, I mean, to be honest, I could probably just use even the same lace because this lace is that gorgeous crochet lace that looks good on every single thing. Yeah, so, I mean, that looks super pretty, doesn't it? 
I'm just going to check just before I do stick that down whether actually I might prefer black. I know that sounds really strange, but I wasn't intending on using the black, but um, I've got some here. Hmm, I do quite like the black. Let me just check. I think I do prefer the black actually because um, it's just got that striking kind of appearance. Now the only thing is, of course, is I will have to use the fabric tack to glue it down because it's very holy. And as it's not really behaving, that's a bit of a bit of a shame, isn't it? To be having to use it, but come on, come on, play the game now. Okay. Okay, right. We don't need a great deal, to be honest, because it's only a small bit that we're putting on. So just along there, cut that down. Right, let's go along the lace. Okay. And just glue that down. Just dab off that glue. That's it. Oops. Okay, that looks really pretty. And then I'm just going to wipe that. I feel like I've got a bit of glue on there. And I've got this ivory lace that was just kind of a scrap laying around on the desk. Perhaps I will incorporate a bit of that as well. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? <clears throat> what should we decorate this one up with just literally looking through seeing what I've got you know within grabbing distance that's quite nice that is quite nice yeah what do we think to that I'm just going to hold that down for a moment um to see whether I've got anything else that might look good on there. Maybe a flower or something. Obviously I've got some more of my film strips which I could actually cut out one of the butterflies to use on there. Let's just have a look. I mean the film strips actually I really had made them to be printed on to, um, what's the word? <sighs> Not acent acetate, what's the other stuff? Oh, transparency film. Um, so these are really just kind of leftovers from where I was, whoops, where I was um, printing them, you know, when I was making them. But to be honest, they look, you know, they look pretty nice on either um, transparency film or on the paper. I mean, of course, they do have a kind of negative type of effect because of course they're supposed to be film strips but oops I quite like that look oh come on come on come on <clears throat> okay all right I think this is my third video today so if my voice is beginning to um kind of sound a bit croaky it's just obviously because I've been talking so much not that I'm complaining, because, I mean, obviously, I love talking. Nothing pleases me more than, than chatting away. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not complaining. But that's why my voice is beginning to go a little bit, a little bit dull now. Um, you know, because, obviously, I've just over-talked, over-chatted the whole day now. Right, let's put that on there. <clears throat> okay. Don't know whether I've inked this up or not, so I will just ink it up again just in case. I'm just going to hot glue this down. <clears throat> like that. 
Okay, I'm just going to ink this little number up like that. Okay, I'm going to just have that to the side. To be honest, I'd actually forgotten how much I do love these envelopes. Um, and it's quite interesting because when you kind of like look through projects to do a revisit, you know, it's interesting how many things that you've done that you've forgotten about actually. And, you know, of course, I absolutely loved, um, you know, things like I loved the Masterboard scrapbook and things like that. But that's not a kind of one video project. And obviously I was wanting to keep the revisit to, you know, one video project, really. Um, but, yeah, it's quite interesting because you look through and think, oh, actually, what, you know, what projects were my favourite? Because... Um, you know, let's face it, all crafting is so fun, isn't it? And um, I just love it, love it all. Right, I'm going to have that butterfly up there. So again, just going to kind of hot glue that down there. Like that. And then let's just take some of the bling. Don't know whether I might like some you know, in the centre of the butterfly. So let's just have a look. Okay, I'm just going to cut that down. Okay. I'm just going to then stick that down in the middle of the butterfly. Like that. Okay. Now this one, I'm just still debating, do I have this anywhere? The only thing is he's not showing up that much. Um, so, you know, is that just then a bit of a waste to have him when he's not really showing up? Or doesn't it really matter? I mean, he does show up a bit, doesn't he? So let's just pop him down. Okay, like that. And then just see whether I want to have any bling kind of anywhere else or do we think that's just a bit too much bling you know with the butterfly as well or perhaps I'll have it down there there we go okie dokie so that's that one so I really do love them and yeah, like I say, I'd actually forgotten how much I like them and um, just how gorgeous they are to hold and to touch. So I really hope that you like them. If you, you know, hadn't seen them first time around, I hope that this is, you know, something that you really think is um, pretty. If it's the second time around, maybe it's kind of refreshed your memory and, um, you know, maybe kind of revived your, your love for them too. So thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you'll all join me in my next video. Thanks then. Bye.